afternoon my name is Stacey J and this is my studio I thought I'd pop on now it's Monday and I'm going to talk about my Monday makes no I'm not I'm going to talk about my make nines 2024 it is 2024 isn't it yep sorry curtain brain just finished the curtains finished the tie backs just been pumping down um some some not rivets they are um grommets onto the um onto the tie backs for the client and i won't talk like this the whole way through so i have finished um i actually finished this the other day but um i tried it on for mum and showed mum on thursday last week and we didn't like this is the apron dress by the assembly line Okay, so I added eight centimeters onto it. Um, I am not, I'm an average height person. I'm 166 centimeters. Okay, um, I have a, I have long legs. <laughs> of that 166 centimeters, my height is my legs. Um, so, <laughs> so I actually made the length longer. Um, because I like to have, especially this, it's like, I like dungarees, it's so awesome. Um, I top stitched it in the brown, as you see, it's the brown pinstripe. I top stitched it in the brown, um, because I wanted to, um, because I'm making it so I could. That's the whole idea of making, um, our own clothes, isn't it? To do it how we want to. Um, but down here, um, I'll just undo this bottom one. I did press studs, which is what it, it was suggested in the pattern, and then it showed you how to do it with buttons as well. But the bottom one here wasn't there, and it sort of hung and sagged. Um, can you see how it does that? It sort of just pulls down there. So um, when mum was over on Thursday, because we both didn't kind of like how it did that, we changed it. And this is well, got the two, two domes here now, so I'll pop that open. The two domes there and so I pop that there and it sits a lot flatter up the top of the waistband it is a bit big but that's got to do with possibly my sway back because that's when i lose flesh and body not much but that's where i lose it so i indent in so i think it's really um quite highlighted in this but i've worn it all day today I thought I was going to go to singing today, but my daughter hasn't been well, so we're not actually going to singing. And yep, I like the length of it. I like the casualness of it. And I wore this under it to sort of say there is a silhouette. I think it's quite slimming because it cuts in under my bust. And what it does do though, yay, is I get a little food poke every now and then if I'm doing something so I just straighten it back up but I get that with dungarees anyway because um the girls are not small so so far I have made the, both the assembly line items that I was going to make for my make nines I have made the assembly line v-neck cuff shirt um and that gorgeous white um fabric that Karina gave me um from Karina Soms um which stands for Karina's sewing room um she's from norway for anyone who is new to my channel um oh by the way welcome if you are new welcome if you aren't new and you have watched me before and you know i was coming on today to do my welcome back um i am getting texts from mum um so that is what i have done in my make nines i think i am gonna prepare myself for the weather I did have the heaters on today. I was feeling a bit cool. Um, but you, could you imagine this? This dress, this apron dress, with like a round neck um, merino jumper. Okay, you can pick them up real cheap here, or if I wanted to, I can make one. And a pair of boots. I reckon that, that would look really quite cool. So I actually, I really do like it. I do like it. Um, I don't feel, I don't feel big in it. I don't feel like, I'm, I know I'm carrying extra weight and I've just watched two people talk about that on their vlog too. Um, 
so we all have our issues um i won't go into detail of mine um but if you watch yesterday's um sit down sunday sunday sit downs um i talk about um my actual body which is probably 50 percent of the other women out there in the world depending on the last one which is your size so yeah we just gotta love the skin we're in um so that's what I've made for my Make Nines. I popped up with that. Um, while I remember, I'd like to shout out to Fran who has popped me a beautiful love donation today. Um, I was sitting there and the little bling went off and I had a look and I was like, oh. So thank you very, very much. Um, I really, truly and utterly appreciate any um, Ko-Fi uh, love donation set i'm gifted um it is to go towards more materials etc etc for um to help you guys out with all sorts of things like tutorials um i did watch i did watch a new viewer today i want to say her name is claire she's been she posted something 10 days ago and don't these people know i'm vlogging he would not know I'm vlog vlogging anyway. Mr. Christopher knows because he's upstairs starting dinner. Um, yes, he's actually started dinner. I told him not to cook it though. Um, I was talking about Claire. Yes, her name's Claire and I think she is something red. So, so red. I will link her below. I'll have to find her and link her below. Um... I didn't hit subscribe because I was in the middle of doing rivet things and of course then it finished but I always be, I'll be able to find her I know I'll be able to find her um to do that she has the most crystal blue beautiful eyes anyway um so I'll link her below and um I will pop on um the other people I have watched I've been watching um so for serenity what big sews I have watched uh today in Jen's sew room I've watched Adam today I watched two of Adam's today when I sort of miss out then I go through and catch up on them all um who else have I watched oh I think um Sam Sparkle with Sam. I'm, I'm subscribed to all these people and I find the little dot and then I cue them all because I watch them on my big, my big TV. <laughs> That's why it's sometimes I can type in responses and things like that while I'm there and thumbs up and things like that. Oh, so Carol, I've watched so Carol. So I'll try to remember all these people and pop them down, but I definitely, definitely will remember um, to find Claire's and put Claire's down. Um, I just the little red hen pop, keeps popping up, but I know it's not the little red hen. I just know it's got red in it. Um, I think she loves red. Um, speaking of red, who else did I see? Red. Oh, so much sewing. Um, Catherine from Auckland. Uh, one of my, one of my uh, Kiwi Kiwi um, people I watch. Anyway, so that is kind of me for the day. Um, not much else to say on the Make 9 front. I have been busy um, dashing down to um, help mum get to the next stage of her unpacking, which she has done some. She sent me a photo. Um, I've made the room up for Queenie. Um, if you didn't see how um, in love I am with that room, I sneak and look at it every day. Um, you can go onto my um, Sunday sit down and have a look at me making the room up on Saturday. Um, I get the kids back in about half an hour maybe. I actually have no idea when they're coming back because the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. Actually, one of those texts were, was about that. Um, and that's me. But I do want to touch base with you guys knowing that um, So Frugal is coming up. Okay, so, so I, and I will do, um, I have put my name down to talk about So Frugal. But I just want to give you guys a heads up um, more, more that it's coming up than what to do or any of the rules about it. But So Frugal, for those that don't know, is a... Um, is when you sew for pretty much nothing so if i have a free pattern and um you have um you choose a fabric from your stash i don't know if i'd be able to find any fabric i don't think i have any 
I have to go out and buy some. Ah, just kidding. Um, as in, like, I'm not going to go out and buy any. And um, so that is kind of me. That is kind of what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So frugal is on in March. I do believe we have endo. The endo um makes something yellow in March as well, which I've also written down. Um, I have a story behind mine. And why I am doing that. Um, but apart from that, I think that's me. I've done my curtains. Done my tie backs for the curtains. And if I never see another curtain again in the next year, I'll be happy. So, um, yeah, I think I've done my dash. I've done more curtains this year than I care to even poke a stick at. I don't even think that's the saying. Okay, my friends, I would like you to take care, stay well, stay warm. I would like you to keep cool, keep on sewing, hydrate, and no regrets. I don't regret making the curtains. Not at all. Oh, throw in a yawn there for fun. A dog has gone to waking up. Mabel, who is not in a crate, she go, she's gone to waking up between four and five every morning for a boopy. And I have managed to pretend I'm sleeping sometimes. And yes, but I haven't gone and up to her because I have normally been, when she was a little and a lot younger, and got up every night, I was always the one who got up to her. Because he'd be snoring. Now I'm pretending to snore. No, actually, I am snoring. What is that about? <sighs> I blame menopause because men snore, so I've got the men of snores. <laughs> Anyway, so I hope you love my um, dress. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I like how it's... I actually, you know what I like? I like because I'm... I like because I'm big busted. I like... The fact, well, the fact is I'm big busted. What I like is that actually it, it goes in and it actually goes out like this. Like, look, there's how much room um, there is. But there is meant to be that fullness there. And I like it because I don't have hips. So it's actually given me more of an hourglass shape. So if you don't have hips, but you've got big girls, why don't you think about making this dress? Speaking of making dresses, don't forget the Sydney dress um, monthly make is coming up. March starts on the 1st. That is probably the stupidest thing I have ever said. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Yep. Anyway, so March is the um, first monthly make we're going to do. And I have had someone pull forward a dress request for the second one they don't have to be dresses just saying okay i know you guys on the other side of the world are going into summer that's behind us well us here but hey i don't care um but there was something and i like the look of it it had um it had um it had shearing on the back i quite like the look of that so throw down some ideas i might i might if i remember no i'll jump into community um post and write up hey put your ideas or patterns down um if anyone likes and and when, if you go in there and you see a pattern have a look at the pattern google the pattern and see if you like it and put the thumbs up next to it um on on the person's comment so like if um let's just say julie which Julie, because there's quite a few of Julie that um, subscribe to me. So, say Julie pops on the the Donny top blouse, the Donny, right? Um, and you have a look at it and you go, oh, you know, I'd really actually like to make that. Um, give me a thumbs up on it. And you can do thumbs up on more than one, okay? And that way we can sort of narrow it down to something. I think I have to have had two dresses. One was a wrap dress and one had gather uh, the ruche, uh, the sharing on it which i really like the look of the sharing not a rap girl but i can explain that to you a bit later why i'm not a rap girl it's got to do with my short body but anyway i'm going i've already said goodbye so i've hit now i've only done 15 minutes you guys can handle that eh so stay well stay warm stay dry stay cool keep sewing stay hydrated and um no regrets, and I will see you guys on the flip side.
Take care. Thanks for watching.